Some of the schools are still in the process of releasing their students, while a massive search for the suspect continues. And tonight, the officer shot is not seriously injured thanks to a bulletproof vest. All happened about 11.40 this morning near El Camino Real High School in Woodland Hills. Police have set up a command post at nearby Hale Middle School. We have live team coverage tonight. Alex Michelson is at a McDonald's in Woodland Hills, where students and parents are being reunited. But first, let's go to Carlos Buena with the latest on the search. Carlos? Well, this intense LAPD search continues at this hour. As you said, it's been going on since 1130, about six hours, six and a half hours or so. We are now at the command center. This is at Hale Middle School. This is where they're coordinating the operation. Now, as you said, the good news is that officer survived thanks to his bulletproof vest. And now thousands of students who were on lockdown are being allowed to leave their campuses. I got him. <laughs> After hours on lockdown, students are allowed to leave Hale Middle School. Some were all smiles as they reunited with their parents. Oh, well, it was kind of scary. It started at 12 o'clock during fourth period. Everyone was like, um, yeah. they, they kept talking and they were all nervous and asking if they could go outside. My girl, she's 12 years old, and she has been in one of her classes for four hours. The officer was shot in the chest and the suspect ran off. Police set up a wide perimeter from the 101 freeway to the south to Oxnard on the north. Officers then went on a massive search through the neighborhoods. We have literally hundreds of officers out here right now, and we're involved with canines uh, and other efforts in terms of locating the person responsible so that we can arrest him. There are a number of schools in this area, and every one of those was shut down, affecting 9,000 students. No one could get in or out. I just saw, like, literally, like, 200 cop cars pass me. I knew, like, something happened. I woke up to everyone texting me and telling me that the school is on lockdown, and I turned on this TV and heard my friends on TV and saw everything. I panicked because I watched the TV last night. My kids texted me immediately when I heard, so I've been in contact with them. So I know they're okay. I know they're safe, but... I'm panicking. You wish you could see them. I just want my kids. As certain sections are cleared out, some schools lifted their lockdowns and allowed students to leave. Still, most of the area is closed, streets shut down, no one is allowed in. Multiple schools remain locked down inside the perimeter. Uh, it's an abundance of caution. We want to be clear that they are locked down in an abundance of caution, but these children are safe, uh, they are secure, they're being well fed, um, and they are in good condition. We indeed are safe. And tomorrow, I want students to come to school, but I want to make sure parents understand that they are welcome uh, to be here today, tomorrow, or the next day. The schools belong to the community, and they are welcome uh, at any time. Now, the way this started, officials believe the suspect may have been breaking into cars near El Camino Real High School. That's when the officer spotted someone who fit the description. When he went up to him, that's when he was shot. They are still looking for this suspect throughout this area. And again, how long will this search take? Officials say until they're confident they've exhausted every search possibility, searched every part of the area, and either they find this suspect or they figure that he left the area. Reporting live from Woodland Hills, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Carlos.